This is the Boston Red Sox news feed on CONS. Today is Friday, October 12th. The Red Sox may have gotten by the New York Yankees, but now it's time to play the defending champion Houston Astros in the ALCS. Game 1 is Saturday of the night and is scheduled to start at 8 or 9 p.m. On the mound for the Red Sox is Chris Sale, and he faces off against Houston's ace Justin Verlander. There were a lot of questions surrounding Chris Sale and his health entering the playoffs, but he dispelled all those by tossing five and one-third innings in Game 1 of the ALDS, allowing two runs on five hits. Sale also pitched a 1-2-3 eighth inning during the Boston series-clinching Game 4 win at Yankee Stadium. As for the Astros pitching, Houston allowed just 3.3 runs per game, the fewest in baseball. Justin Verlander is on the mound, and he faced the Red Sox last season in the ALDS, going eight and two-third innings, giving up only three runs. In Game 1 of the ALDS against the Indians, Verlander took a no-hitter into the sixth inning. He allowed two hits and two runs in five and one-third innings. The Red Sox bullpen was shaky in the ALDS. In all, the bullpen allowed seven runs in 17 innings. Craig Campbell will have to be more reliable as a closer if the Red Sox want any chance of advancing. Campbell gave up three runs during his two appearances. Just like the starting pitching, Houston's bullpen is loaded. Lance McCullers Jr. and Roberto Ozuna, if given a lead, will usually end the game. Houston may have the advantage in pitching, but the Red Sox bats match up well with the Astros pitching rotation. The Red Sox lead MLB in runs scored, batting average, on base percentage, and slugging percentage. Before I give you a quick preview of what's in store for Game 2, let me tell you about Game Time. Game Time is the top destination for last minute tickets to live events. Unlike Ticketmaster and Subhub, who overwhelm you with so many choices and steps, the Game Time app shows you only the best values and makes buying tickets incredibly fast and easy. To make selecting tickets even easier, Game Time shows you an actual high res photo of the view from your seat. Plus, the Game Time guarantee has you covered. They guarantee you receive your tickets in time for the event and they'll be valid for entry. If that doesn't happen, Game Time will locate comparable placement tickets or give you a 100% refund. Whether you're looking for sports, music, or theater tickets, you can find them all under one roof at Game Time. For $15 off your first purchase, visit usegametime.com slash socks and use promo code socks. Once again, all you have to do for this awesome deal is visit, visit usegametime.com slash socks and use promo code socks. On the mound for the Red Sox in Game 2 was David Price. Price failed to exercise his Yankees demons in the ALDS, allowing three runs, three hits, and two walks in only one and two-third innings. However, against the Astros, Price is 1-0 this season in two starts and has 17 total strikeouts. As for Houston, they are rolling with Garrett Cole. Cole was lights out in Game 2 of the ALDS against the Indians, allowing one run on three hits, strike, put in 12, striking out 12 in seven innings. Facing Cole and Verlander four times in the series is near impossible feat, but if any team was to do it, it would be this Red Sox team. Be sure to also follow CONS on Twitter at CONS Media and our Red Sox account for all the latest news and updates at Red Sox CONS. And don't forget to subscribe to the Red Sox News Feed both on iTunes and Stitcher, as well as the CONS Media Network mobile podcast app. This has been Ryan LeMay for the Boston Red Sox News Feed.